My name is Marcus Sebastiano. I am an artist here in Lawrence, Massachusetts. I really got my first start in Boston. I have a good friend, Seth. He used to manage the Gallows restaurant in the South End, and the owner, Rebecca, had seen my work, and she commissioned me to do a piece there. That led to their second restaurant, Banyan, and I did a big staple piece on that wall, and then it just kind of kept just going. Restaurants would call me when they were opening for like wall murals, wall wraps, kind of how it got jump-started, and you know, I never looked back. I was always a fan of texture. And it started kind of like creating these unique textures with this like Pollock style splat paint and you know, different like trying to create like a cement, like a, an image of like a cement wall and like peeling texture. So I started with vintage paper. When I found subject matter that I wanted to incorporate, you know, I would either photograph it or I'd work with another fellow photographer. You know, it's kind of this translucent layer that I would incorporate into that between, you know, the organic layers I'd put that translucent layer and then I'd paint back on top. Um, I got into working with the resin a lot. It was more of like this 3D style artwork. It's interesting because I'll see things in nature or see things on a, a city street or on a, on a decrepit wall, you know, and I'll see, I'll take photos with my phone of a texture I want to re recreate. And then maybe I'll see like a, you know, flowers with a cement backdrop, and I'll, I'll take note of that in my mind, and it'll kind of inspire or spark something. And then it's always the same thing, like soon enough, some project will come my way, and I'll revert back to that. I dream every night, like I remember my dreams every day. I always have had vivid dreams. We're working on a new mural now, and probably from like 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. this morning, I was working out that whole visual in my head. I'm not supposed to be working at that time, you know, I'm trying not to be sleeping, but at the same time, it like really helps me. It, it, it inspires me to, and pushes me towards the product I need to create. A lot of my business is custom work. You know, someone will call me and they want to do a custom piece. They want it to be personalized to a certain degree and we're going through their likes, dislikes, finding inspiration together, and then creating something like really custom for their home. My friend uh, Louis DiBicari, he started this big event every year and they'd match artists with uh, bartenders and chefs. And that network, like, that's how I met so many restaurant owners, art lovers, food lovers. I owe all these people, I feel like, something because it happened organically, like I put a good product out there, but without knowing these people, I would have never connected the dots and been able to make a living doing this. Like Steve Jobs says, you know, it's, you can only connect the dots looking back. And now I look back and I'm like, how did I meet all those people? How did I find those clients? And I really do believe that uh, your network is your net worth. I've always had this problem with uh, the notion of starving artists. You know, it's what probably keeps a lot of people away from being artists or working as creatives. I think there is a pathway to success in this industry, and I think a lot of it is through networking and through seeing examples of other successful people within that same space. It is a competitive market being a commercial artist, but there's room for everybody. Everybody has their own style. If you're good, you put out a great product. You do what you know is right for yourself. I think you're gonna attract business. Mm -hmm.